Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy J-Mac. I'm uh, gonna put out a little video today and um, show you a demonstration of the Ostringer. People are calling it the IS, IS Luna 2.0. I'm gonna show you the difference between having maximum range, not maximum, but pretty close to maximum range, or maximum stability. I'm gonna show you how much of a difference it makes when I have accurized on opposed to steady rounds on. Okay, so let's just start with, um, we'll start with accurized. And if anybody's wondering, um, I tried to make it look as much like the IS Luna as possible. And what you need to do is buy the Broken Bird to be healed ornament and toss on the new monarchy Regella, Regelia. You could toss that on or a lot of other people are tossing the Maroon Maroon on. I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. That's about as close to the IS Luna as you're going to get. So, okay, we'll start with range. We'll go with the accurized rounds, hammer forge. That gives me really good range, so you guys are going to see a big difference here. Now, all I'm going to be doing <clears throat> is pressing L2 and R2. I'm not going to be compensating with the toggles. I'll give you guys an idea here. Okay, we'll recenter where it was. I'm going to swap to steady rounds. Steady rounds, and we'll also put on small board to give it a tiny little bit more stability. Now, most people think when it comes to hand cannons, it's all about range. And yes, I do agree with that to a certain extent. With 140, 150 archetypes, I also feel like stability comes into play and is a major factor. So it really just depends on your play style. You know, if you like to sit back and play it a little bit more passive and play the range game, yeah, you want to be going with Accurize, Hammer Forge, there's a couple other barrel options that'll give you more range. Or if you want to play with, you know, the close to mid-range game with something that has a bit more stability, this is going to be the option for you. So you'll see a major difference here. Again, that's just with L2 and R2, I'm not using the toggles to compensate. I'll go back to range, take steady rounds off, and again, you guys are going to see a big difference here. Now see, I'll give you one other tip here. If you just pace your shots a little bit while using something that has really good stability in the 140-150 archetype, the barrel will kick up and always recenter itself if you just pace them. Those would all be crits. I mean, if you just take your time with it, you guys will be landing crit after crit after crit. I have no problem. Alright, anyways, hopefully that video helps, guys. Later.